On the popular video site YouTube, there exist countless videos called Let's Play, where socially maladjusted individuals talk over footage of themselves playing video games for money. Somewhere in Ohio, one such Let's Player and his wife decided to continue the practice with varying degrees of success on a licensed game for a TV series way outside the typical demographic for this type of video. These are their stories. The district so I guess now we're in the order part of the law and order part of the case. So now we're going to play some feats, right? I mean, I'm getting my objection finger already. Ah, yeah, it's great. me from prosecution of any crime committed in the course of my diplomatic mission. I met Mr. Trevino in the capacity of a Russian media expert as a diplomat. So let's talk about meeting Rachel Trevino. Did you meet Rachel Trevino at the Parkview Regency? She said she worked there, so we agreed to meet. And instead, you slept with her. Right. What can I say? I'm a good, a good conversationalist. Uh, you are totally not all of not Objection! Which what the fuck right? was that? Objection! <laughs> I don't think you should be talking to him like that. It's not very appropriate. Uh huh. Let's talk, let's talk about it here. So your immunity status is based on your acting as a diplomatic uh, agent. This but this is the first uh, we've heard that you were meeting Rachel Trevino in that capacity. She wanted to compare Russian so business like philosophy to American. Like she mentioned that aspect specifically to me. Are you sure she didn't have something else in mind? Was Rachel investigating other aspects of your business, Mr. Barron? You were getting stung the fuck up, bitch! No, you ain't being truthful! You! What events contracts is denied? Hotel oh, meetings. Right. Oh, that's good. No, so, so cursed to the dead warfare and her strong voices indicating his guilt. Hmm. Let's see. Come on down, man. Maybe this one. Her name is just Hotel Maid. Oh, shit. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go, go, go. Get out. Get out. Get out. I don't, oh, care. No. I don't care if you're playing Fallout 3, give it your dish. Fallout 3 sucks! To me, and nobody else. That's it. To me, too. Hey, anyway, uh, back to this. Hmm. Benson stated Rachel's blog contained evidence of other assaults by Rachel. That's. Woo! Yeah, she's trying, to, she's trying to get info on that. Yeah. Our detectives investigated Rachel's blog. She was gathering evidence that you I just were realized, a sexual uh, we were playing as, uh... As OH SHIT! OH, oh SHIT! GOD! I was gonna make a Resilient Isles thing, but SHIT! WHOA! WHOA! OH! WHOA! THE FIRST whoa, FUCKING case. Whoa. HOLY SHIT! HOLY F- Fucking shit! Hero dad gets revenge. Taking care of business. Father <laughs> dies. When Still don't care about Fallout 3! American justice. The headlines go on. The people love this guy. That's a very good Jack Chavez McCoy uh, voice, actually. Oh, the smug God. bastard. God damn it, Electric Ninja, stop it! Love him. How the hell did he get a gun into the courtroom? This is gonna get messy quick. I say we charge him with voluntary manslaughter and let it go. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible. That shocked me. You know so what much? keeps me up at night? And I know it I was not expecting just that slightly. At all. This you time the bang got to me. Answer your question, Jack. You're right. I'm not setting a precedent for street justice in our courtrooms, despite wow. what the people think they want. Prove it was premeditated. Hit him with murder one. You yeah, now I gotta go after the grieving father because that's that's How the do they deal. always get a Ooh. gun through security? Yeah. I don't fucking understand that. At our tiny little court courtroom, we have to no, go through a metal detector. We're going to take my fucking we're going purse to into ours. Diminished Seriously. Defense. The defendant is a Gulf War vet. Then again, no one gets shot in a fucking courtroom. Stress disorder. Right. We will show this that this shit happens all the time. Extreme emotional distress at the time of the shooting and is therefore not eligible for murder one. Any oh, whatever, issues, counselor. None, Your Honor. Defense has briefed us already. This doesn't change anything. We're moving ahead with murder <laughs> one. Focus on the premeditation. It's like, oh yeah, we'll we'll take his uh, defense into, into account. Get it for everything we got. All right, first witness is Detective Benson. As night witness, she will testify to the facts of the shooting and give the jury an unbiased picture of the killing. <laughs> well, okay, we're really doing this. 
Tell up your case, focus on the pertinent details of the shooting and not the public outcry. Right? Yeah, focus on, on the facts. Just the facts, ma'am. Uh, following questions, depends on the evidence. Cross examine and try to break down. Wow, we're playing the prosecution. All okay, right, so. shooter. Might as well just go down the line. So we'll, we'll cross out the public opinion because that doesn't matter, but the idea of the shooter and the statement to police is what matters. So we'll talk Can about you the tell us first. definitively who shot Alexander Baran? Without a doubt, the defendant, Chavez Trevino, shot him. I looked to see Mr. Trevino standing up with a smoking gun in his hand. Literally. And can you <laughs> identify him for the court? Sitting right there. That's your shooter. Is this effective testimony? Yes. Yes. Benson's done it a few times yeah. now. Ooh! He's kind of an expert. I have a gauge now! That's my, oh. that's my case! Yeah, the scales of justice meter! The scales Woo! of justice meter! That's the thing! That is awesome! This game is great! I'm having fun! Again, I like to mention, don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna fix that so it doesn't happen in the, in the next case. Yeah, make sure you get out of freaking... Throw the scales of tips in your favor. <laughs> Love that. The more likely the jury is to convict. And, oh, yeah! So, this is this is probably not guilty on the left side. Right, right in the middle is a hung jury, and then on the right they, they convict. Yes! More power when it comes to plea bargain! Yeah! Yeah, I am a real fucking lawyer! Woo! Alright, what exactly makes it effective? Let's have a separate lives. I can put this uh, capture of Alex. Hmm. She was an eyewitness to the murder, and she's a detective, and detectives really know how to give good testimony, especially right. if it's one as seasoned as Benson. Woo! I'll take that extra star, thank you, and I'm gonna use it to lock you in jail! Like show the detective pointed at the defendant. The defendant? No, I pointed towards the defense attorney. All right, maybe we're talking about the statement to police now. After the shooting, Mr. Trevino made a voluntary statement to you about why he shot Mr. Again, Baran. just the facts. True? Yes. yes. What did he say? He said Mr. Baran had to die. He said Mr. Baran was going to claim immunity, escape prosecution, and run back to Russia. Well, that's what he was kind of doing when we met him the first time. All right, so we got the gun and the motive. Let's talk about the gun first. Detective, how exactly did Mr. Trevino get a gun into the courtroom? Aren't there Let's security the measures? Motive, yeah. We're right? still investigating how he breached motive. security, but he claims he stuffed it into his jacket and simply walked through. We gotta, we gotta fire that motherfucker because this happens way too goddamn time. Mr. Trevino times. had to avoid metal detectors and checkpoints covering every entrance. What would it take to get past all that security, Miss Benson? Forethought, planning, and intelligence. Mm -hmm. Mr. Trevino had to keep his cool and his That's wits That's to prove that it wasn't under extreme times. duress. No shit. He fucking planned that shit. What's the president doing? Won't this testimony help the defendant? It will not. Because it's proving that he had premeditation to it. Right. And not just because he was sad. I love that they asked me that. Yeah. It's like they're telling me to think for myself. Alright, so why is Cutter S and Benson testified about it? To state? establish that Trevino was not under extreme emotional distress when he acted. Exactly what I just said. Right. Boom! Ooh, yeah! We are rocking through this shit! Actions inconsistent with someone under emotional distress. In my view, yes. Uh, you might as well just go ahead and uh, beg me. Yeah, you might as well just beg me for for getting him off and no jail time. What else shit. did he say? He said the courts were weak. God damn it. Powerless. He said the only justice he wanted was a death sentence. So, his motive was less about avenging his daughter's murder and more about exacting the type of justice he wanted to see. Why are you yelling Objection. at me? Withdrawn. Objection. Good job. Occasionally a well-aimed jab at the defendant can score points at the jury, Woo! even though you have to withdraw it. Uh, oh, that's why they do that. That's, yeah. that's why they piss him off, because... Um, yeah, because the jury can't forget... What you will strike it from the record, but you won't strike it from the jury's mind. Is there any doubt as to the circumstances of the shooting, detective? All right, let's no. go in for the kill. Mr. Trevino Wait, shot the defendant in front of witnesses and admitted to the murder afterward. I wish every case was as simple. Thank you, detective. You're on. The, first the people case. rest. No further questions for this witness. Woo. All right. The story says the prosecution won by fifty, and the jury likes my case a little bit. I'm ahead by 50 points! Oh, it's like a score! And the halftime record is that the prosecution is winning by 50 points! Let's keep it going. Back to you! Christina Mullins is the defense attorney I am facing today. My job is to object when she gets out of line. Ooh, here are two tricks she likes to use, this sneaky, conniving bitch. 
She will disguise comments or questions as questions, such as, Are we really supposed to believe this lie? This is an argumentative. She will also insult your witness by calling him a low life or a criminal. Badgering. This is badgering, okay. obviously. Argumentative and badgering. Okay, so we got a really realistic no, no. Oh, wow. Okay. Remember, badgering is a straight insult. Argumentative is one of those case ca cast out in the front testimony. This guy's question. Okay, okay, okay. Detective Benson, you testified that you saw the defendant, Chavez Trevino, shoot the victim. Okay. No. I testified that I turned around and saw Mr. Trevino with a smoking gun in his hand about a second Discuss after I heard the shot. Face. So you didn't actually see him do the shooting? Are we supposed to believe you're up, 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 up. Objection. Because she's badgering. Badgering. Objection overruled. Immediately Shit. after the shooting, what did Mr. Trevino I look like? I, I don't yeah. follow you. Because she, she was kind of insulting her in a he question, you know? Yeah, she, he was the only himself. one in the room with a gun. Wasn't he yelling out, my baby, you murdered her? He said that, yes. He was out of his mind with grief. Can I he not He was coming apart at the seams and anymore? you didn't see it? Really? I don't believe you. He was upset. upset. This Objection. is probably badgering. Badgering. Objection overruled. What the fuck? Is your heart so you cold, right detective? Are you such a robot that you can't see another human in distress? Objection. I'm gonna, I'm gonna object to that. That's totally badgering. badgering. Sustained. Thank you. Ms. Mullins, enough with the rhetoric. Let's try this one more time. Wow, I gotta, Was crazy. my client, Chavez Trevino, visibly shaken and distressed? I'm shaken and distressed right shooting? now. Yes. Did he appear rational? Calm? No. Was his behavior at that moment consistent with a person in severe emotional distress? I... So far, so good. Yes. So despite any forethought or planning he might have shown previously, the defendant was clearly in distress when he fired his weapon. True? Okay. True? Yes. Thank you. That's all for this witness, Your Honor. Oh, I lost my tip. I'm still hit my 40. Of course, it's over the defense, but barely any at all, so we're still doing all right, though. You suck! Shut up! I just got a message from Cormac. You know the gun we took off Chav Trevino? Yeah. What about it's the gun? It's a ballistics match to the one used in the preppy joggers murder. The joggers? Oh. The two kids who got killed in the park? That was in the Oh night. my god, he's killed before! We caught the case, but we ran out of leads and were never able to close it. We got oh, pulled off after my fucking old man's ass pretty good. <laughs> Yeah! Well, then, how did Trevino get it? Because he probably fucking did it! Detective, this case has been on my mind since I got back. Then this falls in my lap. I feel like I owe it to Lenny. <laughs> awesome! This is taking so many twists and turns. I love it. Thanks. Oh, wow. He probably fucking did it. Those murders all those years ago. Heartless bastard.